Hello, I'm David from Winning Solutions. I hope you're having a great day and thank you for viewing our web page and templates. At Winning Solutions, we have a huge array of database templates to choose from for almost any business need you have. Buying the developer use versions of our templates will get you the entire source code and also allow you to include the template as, as part of a larger project. And the, all our databases can and are meant to be customized down to the finest detail to meet your company's specific needs. Shrink-wrapped software generally doesn't allow that. You have to use it as is with no customizations. With Winning Solutions, the licensing is very generous. The app can be used by as many people on as many computers as you want, and applications can be customized to your heart's content down to the finest detail by you or anyone else with a knowledge of Microsoft Access. We hope this video will be all the help you need. Are you trying to create an Access database but find that it's too much work or you could be doing something more productive with your time. WSI can do all the hard work for you. Just contact us via the information below this video. We will work with you to determine how much time and money will be needed to build your new database. If you'd prefer to have your new database built with .NET, Microsoft SQL Server so it can run on your Windows desktop or anywhere in a web browser, we could do that too. Let's take a look now at the employee training and test tracking database. So we want to be able to use this to keep track of training sessions and classes and passes and fails and that type of thing. So again, I want to emphasize this is a template. It is meant to be enhanced, expanded upon, included in a larger database. And what we are seeing here and what you would download is the demo version. Uh, the paid version comes with the complete source code, everything in design mode so you can make whatever changes or adjustments you need, or pay someone such as Winning Solutions to do that for you. So um, let's get right into the, into the demo. So first place you're gonna go in most of these templates is, is in something called maintenance. In this case, it's maintain lists. And this is for what we call lookup tables, uh, basically drop downs, drop down menus are mostly going to be filled from these, uh, from these tables and you can add departments. In this case, uh, add, add or remove departments, employees, locations, test and training. You can add other categories to this by the way too. So you're not just limited to these categories. Uh, you want to have a, uh, a category for training materials or books. You can add that too. Um, I can't do it here because this is the demo version, but uh, that can certainly be done with the uh, full version. So we can add other departments and things like that. So let's get out of here. Uh, calendar view, well, there's probably it's not going to be much to see in calendar view right now because we don't have anything entered. So, and uh, likewise, there's likely nothing in the schedule. So let's fix that. Um, let's go into, oh, let's see. Well, I mean, first of all, realize we can import from Outlook. We can export to Outlook in terms of calendar events. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, we've added some courses and trainers already through maintain list. So let's go to add test and training entry. And again, we can pick uh, an employee, a, uh, uh, a, a training module that they're supposed to take. They're going to take this at the headquarters. Uh, it's a, a 10 hour course. Let's say how much do you, you know, uh, 10 hours and they passed. Let's just enter a pass date. And then we can close it like that. And now we have, now we can search that on the schedule. And you can search by any, um, you know, we can search by employee, location, uh, test type, uh, and that type of thing. We can view in calendar form when we double click or we can view in appointment form when double clicking uh, or view that in calendar form. And so you've seen, oh, okay, yeah. So see it in calendar form. Of course, we can set up the calendar to show, you know, whatever we want to show it. 
uh, first day of week, let that be a Monday or whatever day. Uh, calendar view we've already seen. You can display these in calendar view. You can view these in appointment view as well. So we can do run a search and we can print detail. Let's print detail and that will go to a report as well. So again, it looks a little bit plain, but again, it's it's meant to be expanded upon. It's a template uh, so that you can, it's meant to be generic so it can be expanded upon and built upon and included with larger applications. Any, anything you need to keep track of scheduling and training, employee training, or what have you, the employee training and test tracking database can get it done. Thank you for watching. We hope this video was all the help you needed for your Access database. If you are struggling to create an Access database that does what you need it to do and just want someone to make that happen for you, that is the business we are in. Our contact information is below the video. You can reach out to us and we will work with you to determine how long it will take and how much it will cost to get your database up and going. If the time and cost are acceptable to you, WSI will get to work and make your database vision a reality. Perhaps Microsoft.net or MS SQL Server would be the better choices for your new database so it can run on your Windows desktop or anywhere in a web browser. WSI will help you make this determination if you like. Again, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day.